Okay, so you're ready to lose weight and you wanna make sure that it's fast. Either you feel like you have slowed down, you wanna speed it up, or you're just starting and you wanna make sure that you're gonna go at a good rate. I got three great tips for you for speeding up or getting fast weight loss results coming up. What is up, 4 Faith Nation? Thank you so much again for tuning into the video. If you are new around here and you found us through search, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that little bell icon so that you can get every new video because I talk about weight loss and fat loss and that is it. My only goal is to help you finally get out of this funk of trying to lose weight and to reach your goals. Make sure to stick around for tip number three because I think that is the one that's gonna make the biggest difference for you, especially if your weight loss has slowed down a little bit or you can be prepared for this when it does happen. So what are my best tips for speeding up or making sure that you have fast weight loss results? Tip number one is going to be intensity. You have to make sure that you're actually going in the gym and giving it your all. Now, if you're brand new to this, it might not take that much for you to feel like you're working intensely. This depends on you. Don't let other people dictate your intensity. You wanna make sure that when you're in the gym, you're working hard for you based off your level, but you don't want to, I see a lot of people going to the gym and they're just like, well, I'm just gonna walk and, and it won't be too hard and that's how I'm gonna lose weight. It doesn't work. And I mean, you see a lot of people in the gym walking on treadmills and most of them have never reached their weight loss goals and that's because the intensity is too low you have to pick it up now again that doesn't mean that you can't build up to it especially if you're brand new but make sure the second you can you pick up that intensity raise the bar and get better results tip number two is going to be protein you want to make sure that you are getting enough protein this is going to be roughly about one gram per pound of body weight male or female doesn't really matter that is what you are shooting for about and that varies from person to person and, and activity level to activity level but you also want to make sure it's about 20 percent up to 30 percent of your total calories and this can be done on my fitness pal making sure that you are getting the percentages and grams and everything so you don't have to worry about how to exactly figure that out but that's what you're shooting for is about 20 to 30 percent protein which should fall somewhere around one gram per pound of body weight. If you're heavily overweight though, then one gram per pound of body weight might end up being like 50% of your, of your needed calories. And so that's why I'm giving you two things to go off of. It could be one gram per pound of body weight. If that seems really excessive, then it, it could be somewhere around 20 to 30% of uh, your total calories. So tip number three is going to be zigzagging your calories. If you've never heard of this, then zigzagging your calories is a pretty simple concept. You pick a baseline that's gonna allow you to lose one pound or two pounds a week, and then you go from there going up and down um, based off what day you're on. And so let me just give you an example because that still sounded kind of confusing. So let's say that you're doing a 2000 calorie diet. And then you could go on Monday, 2,200 calories, and on Tuesday, 1,800 calories, which is still gonna give you 2,000 daily, but you're gonna get a high calorie day and a low calorie day. Why this works is because your body is never really allowed to adjust to a calorie limit. And so if you lower yourself down 2,000 calories, eventually your body will adjust to 2,000 calories, and then you're gonna need 1,800 calories, so on and so forth. There's other ways of preventing that, and there's things you can do. But the simplest thing is to not allow your body to ever adjust in the first place, and so you have a high calorie day where your body's like, oh, I'm good, I'm not starving, I'm good, I'm gonna work really hard, and then you have a low calorie day, that those are the days that you're really gonna lose body fat. And so you're really kind of losing double the body fat on the low days and then you're not losing body fat on the high days is, is sort of how it works. But I want you to use those high days to fuel your other days. And so whenever you work out, whenever you eat high calories, work out really hard. You know, go in there and kill it. Your low calorie day, you might not kill it as much, but you're still gonna be fueled a little bit from your high calorie day because you're gonna be getting more carbs and stuff like that. I think for my fitness pal, I think you have to buy the premium version in order to unlock daily calories, but you can, this is relatively simple to do on your own. You just ignore my fitness pal's recommendations and you know that you go up to 2,200 and down to 1,800 or whatever it is. And, and the difference can be bigger than that. It can be, if you're at 2,000 calorie diet, you can do a 2,500 calorie day and a 1,500 calorie day because really your body on a daily uh, on a day-to-day -day basis isn't going to freak out on 1500 calories. You're going to feel hungry, yeah, but it is going to uh, not go into starvation mode based off just one day. It takes longer than that. 
Okay, so question of the day for you guys. What are your best tips for speeding up weight loss or making sure that your weight loss stays consistently at a good rate? Let me know in the comments. I would love to connect with you guys in the comments. I just absolutely love that I'm able to help people and I would love to hear from you guys and just connect with you down there because this is what I live for. It is my oxygen. I want to help people and I want to know that I'm actually doing something good for people out there. So I would love to just hear from you guys in the comments. So let me know down there. Also, if you could please spread the awareness of this channel, share this on social media networks so that we can get the word out and I can hopefully start getting more people into the channel and start helping even more. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you can get all of our videos. And until next time, guys, God bless.